Sitting pretty in this middle, middle lane now with 18 CS. Top of the CS charts with the four minute runes coming up. Both mids have their eyes on it. MV trying to contest for that top rune. This time SVG hits the mark. Sila cannot get enough life in time. Now it's Lanham who steals a haste rune. Looking for that extra target. He got a little bit of extra help from the Edict. Luna may be top of the CS charts, but it's not by a Opportunity on bottom lane. Rose, old 11 starts having a crack at him. Support was on its way. Uh, Lanham's a little bit too far off. And with the Lucent Beam, distance is created, but this is the nighttime fighter. An old 11, a very simple pickoff when he finds that hero so far away. Yeah, that's a nice kill. They're bringing in MSS as well as himself, Rose. And they're going to use SVG as bait. So SVG, now he walks out just far enough to decide that we'll think about going for it, but they sentry ward. They find him there, commit the epicenter, raw to hold the lush rack in position. And a good bait set up by good vision for MP. Yeah, that's, you said it, having the vision there being no in raw, this case, no they want to. There's only an Eclipse, they're missing the other two big ultimates. The Hawk is up, they see Old Chicken moving around the side. Now Scyther and Lanham also be revealed. AUY, the Moonlight Shadow, they need to get in busy. Let's the Eclipse go, won't be able to TP out. So the top tower will stay alive for E-Home. AUY is the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, I imagine come up and contest it, knowing that Warlock has... If Warlock has six there, they probably can't make that move, but because Warlock's oh, not six, it's caught out near the top rune, it's gonna be him, Lat leashed up, then Silas, he can't leap away. And one shot just won't keep him up long enough either, Ehorn. An easy pick off like that on Eternal Envy means that to you. The issue is they don't see anybody until now. Ogre has walked underneath the Hawk, so they know where Lanham is. He's just happy just to waddle himself down, throws down the sentry warp with the Burrow Strike into the epicenter over on Slark with a raw there. There's no Shadow Blade, there's no Dark Pine to protect him. And now it's MP's turn to turn from kill into push. They'll get a team. They can burst down something like a wall. Oh, sentry warp, they saw Old Chicken. Yes. Old Chicken comes in close, of course, when he loses that ultimate, he knows they can see him walking in close. There goes your raw with the Lucid Beam. Rock will drop a little bit too far away to link them all together with a final bond. It's only Lanham as well at 11 who are locked together as the old men. And without that first initial kill, there's this Naz powerful Garda protected by that repel. It's gonna last a little bit longer, getting back in range of the creep wave, the stun, keeping out the golem, Old Chicken with another leap up, but SVG is there for the Barra Strike, Arrow flies up, and it'll be Lanham, stunned and held. They go for a second final bonds, and now it's MP rolling through them. They'll beat Lanham down, and it's a double kill for MSS. Garda. And old 11 licking their wounds, not only will they lose three heroes, this is two towers as well that MP will claim. Just a vision also behind MP. Thanks to that Observer Ward and the Hawk, they do have a little bit, but we are still under the cover of darkness, so Ehome will be winning the vision advantage, and oh my, that's a lot of stuns. That's a free Aegis, that's yep. really nice for them. And they're looking for it again, with the Edict turned on, Old Chicken wants to hold AUI here, now he triggers the BKB with the Rock to fall down, Better Bonds needs to connect, a lot of damage, Guard is going to fall before he gets the ulti off, with no buyback available, both supports down for Ehome, Old Chicken with his fresh BKB, did manage to find the opening, so killed off the Warlock, the Lightning chipping down AUY, but he had one charge available. The Burrow Strike is there, and Old Chicken with a level 3 Necro Box. There was nowhere to hide, and there's three heroes without buyback for Ehom. MP, they will take at least one lane of Rax, and if they get the stun, Sila will drop as well. An ultra kill for AUI, and Ehom are well on the ropes. They may just have ended the game with that fight. Slack without a buyback because he commits for the BKB. And the big thing there is the Omni Knight got taken out of the fight. Didn't get a mech, a Guardian Angel. No heals, repels. He did not get anything off. And oh, Burrow Strike. They caught old 11 outside the base. Ehome, one by one, they keep getting picked out. There's no buyback for the Nine Stalker, so they have to continue to fight with one man down. And MP, all these abilities. They're so cheap, they're not big ultimates. It's Blink Burrow Strike, they jump in again. The Guardian Angel this time is up, protecting Scylla with the Lightning Slow. MSS dropping down low, they need another stun, but Envy too quick on the Panther, able to get away. On AUI, even without the Aegis in, this mid lane could oh, be getting pushed here. Scylla being initiated on, Lanham's right behind him, but AUI with a loose and beam. Envy triggers BKP, hits the arrow, Scylla's gonna fall. He still has buyback, but this is Silo who's been walking around with close to 4,000 gold, not spending it. Yeah, you are just being a bit cautious about this one. 
After what happened to him in that last push, and nice Manta dodge. Uh, BKB hey, is up as well right now for Envy. They jump in, the Rock will hit, the Fatal Bolt is perfect. This could be it right now. E-Home, they are being moonshined out right now by MP, and there it is. GG, our first game of the playoff to reach a third game in the series. Very well executed by NP. They found their timings. They grouped up when they needed to around the Luna, the Beast Mark.